Hey YouTube, what's going on? Today is a good day because the order I placed a couple of weeks ago uh, finally arrived from Providence and they got a new logo here a uh, little insert for the for the sleeves that they have um, they had a different design but now they got a black one here which is kinda cool um, so this was the coin that I had to get in order to get the free shipping and I'm very surprised to see that this is a pretty good quality round. I didn't think it was going to be this nice. You know, it looks really, you know, pretty just like the uh, Standard & Liberty. It looks very similar. Um, and it has a nice shine on the front. Uh, very surprised to see this coin uh, come out the way it was. And on the picture on Provident, it didn't look all that good and I thought that's the reason why they had it you know that was the cheapest round they had so uh, I went with this one and then as an extra I got the privy with the horse horse privy Canadian maple leaf ob obverse design which I I like this much better than the regular maple leaves because I think these really don't get those uh, milk spots um, and they just look much better you know really really nice fresh silver is always nice right and finally I got my first America the beautiful coin and I must say this is very interesting. I, I really didn't think um, the coin would be like this. Um, I never held a five ounce, three inch coin. You know, any of the big ones were bars. So this is really interesting. Um, this is the bullion version. So it has a little bit of that shine to it. Uh, I do like the vapor finish better. Uh, I've been watching a lot of videos from uh, Brian the Log, who is like the ATB man. He just loves those coins, and he got me into them. And I've been waiting and waiting. And you know, in hindsight, I should have waited a little longer because um, I bought this around 124, and right now I think it's like 117 or 116 dollars. Um, and then Silverfish recently did a video saying that Providence is going to have like this huge uh, uh, sale on Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So, you know, maybe there will be something really good uh, that I can get or everyone else can get. Um, I guess it's good to wait for those things. But you never know. Silver price might go up by then. But I doubt it. It'll probably stay within the $20, $19 range. And here is the back. Flip it over. Very shiny. All right. I thought these were a little bigger, but you know, still big enough, man. It's really cool. I like this. The other uh, bullion coin from the ATB uh, series that I like from 2011 I like the um, the Olympic with the deer on it and I also like the Denali but the Denali fetches too much of a premium so I'm probably gonna pass on those uh, I might get the uh, the mint version of this coin this is really nice I really like this and here is the packaging that came with uh, um, these coins um, what I did was save you the trouble of doing all the unboxing and what I like to do when I unpackage these things is to carefully open them so that I can reuse these packages for you know possible trades or you know selling on eBay or something like that because in order to buy these packages they add up over time and you could get some of these nice packages um, for really cheap, like 10 cents per package on eBay. Um, a silver buddy of mine alerted me to some of these packages. But this is the one that came from Provident, and they use Uline. Here's Uline. Right. Um, 
yeah, Uline bubble mailer, and then they have to supply these zip locks. Alright, so let's look at the uh, silver one more time. Two thousand thirteen Mount Rushmore. You know, a lot of hype on these coins. I think the uh, the Mount Rushmore mint version has already sold over seventeen thousand coins. Here's the privy. Oh, it's the wrong side. I like this side better. Privy, and this one's called the Saint Gardens, I think. Yeah. Alright, that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching and see you guys on the screen later.